As the sun shines in all of my glory My flaws don't look so bad at all What was I so afraid of? to these rays I'm feeling exposed but I can't hide no more I can't hide as the sun shines in all of my glory my flaws don't look so bad at all what was I so afraid of every part of me is a vision of a portrait of Mona a Mona Yes, every part of me is beautiful And I find on the sea I'm a work of art, a masterpiece oh, 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 yeah. Who is this I tried so long to Filling my head with lies That I'm not good enough Then I heard something in my ear Tell me I'm perfect Now that I know the truth Time to show and prove That every part of me is a vision Of a portrait of Mona A Mona Lisa Oh, every part of me is beautiful and I finally see I'm a work of art, I'm a masterpiece. Oh, oh. my pictures with the world I'm not afraid to let it go anymore oh, 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 oh. Mona Lisa huh. Mona Lisa let my colors paint the sky there is beauty in my eyes hey everybody is Charmel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. It's the beginning of a new week. How y'all doing? I hope everybody is doing well. I feel really good today. Um, like I said, it's the beginning of the week is Monday. But yeah, y'all, I got up this morning, had me a little breakfast, and then I shampooed and deep conditioned my hair because I guess I could spell my secret. Um, guess who's relocking their hair? That would be me. Um, yeah, y'all. I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to like debut this because I know many of you have started following me during my log journey. A lot of people still watch my log videos. Like I still get comments and stuff on older videos and a lot of people didn't realize I had combed my locks out y'all. But we're going back to locks. So I'm not going to go too much into detail because I will be doing like a full series explaining to you guys how I came to this decision. Yeah the process and all that. Like I'm going to take you guys along for all of that. But I guess this is kind of like the behind the scenes. Sometimes I feel like people people kind of like misconstrue the reason I even combed out my locks like I never combed out my locks because I hated them um if you watched my previous video where I was comparing like my experience with my locks to like my experience with my hair post locks one of the things I mentioned in that video is that I feel like locks are one of my signature looks there were several reasons why I decided to comb out my first set of locks but the reason wasn't because I didn't like locks anymore um and i'm not relocking my hair because my natural hair or my loose hair is too much maintenance because i feel like that's another thing that's always coming up and i keep talking about it because i really hate that narrative i do not struggle with my hair as far as like maintaining it combing it i have done my hair pretty much most of my life i started doing my hair myself in like high school and 
as a 30 something year old woman I still predominantly predominantly do my hair so me maintaining my hair that has never been an issue for me because I always do my hair so I'm not relocking my hair because loose hair is too much to manage when I combed out my first set I never said that I would never relock my hair I didn't put a time limit on it but I knew at some point in my life I would return to locks again because I've enjoyed my locks so yeah y'all i have been kind of thinking about it towards the end of last year um i was starting to get that itch again like oh i'm kind of ready for some locks again when i did those boho locks at the beginning of the year i feel like that was the real moment where i was like okay i really miss my locks i think i'm getting close to wanting to lock my hair again and so earlier this month i had a moment so it's like my usual quiet time with god in the morning because one thing about me i will teeter-totter between making a decision on certain things and so yeah i had just asked god to send me some confirmation if it was time for me to lock my hair and i asked him to show me something random but it was very specific and i kid you not within like 30 minutes to an hour after my quiet time he showed me exactly what i had asked him to show me and i was like well I guess that's it I'm locking my hair and so yeah the day has finally came I am doing it a little differently this time for a while like when I combed out my first set for a while I was going back and forth like if I wanted to do the traditional route again or if I would do lock extensions and I decided to do the lock extension route um so yeah y'all my lock extensions actually came last week Again, I'm going to have separate videos. I'm going to let y'all know where all of this is from. I'm going to do all of that. These are the lock extensions that I ordered. See, I'm going smaller this time. I'm really excited. But for today, like I said, I got up and shampooed and deep conditioned my hair because... One of the things that I do want to do differently this time is make sure that I get my base and my parting to what I want. Last time, I was kind of winging it. Um, and my, my parts and everything, they weren't horrible, but... Knowing what I know now, I want to be a little more intentional about my parting. So I'm actually getting ready to head to my cousin's house. My little cousin, she's the one has, who has been braiding my hair um, for the last almost six months since I combed out my locks. So she's going to just part my hair for me, section it off. And yeah, so I can get what I want. And then for the rest of this week, I'm going to be focusing on installing these. But yeah, I'm really excited um i'm not gonna lie i got a little nervous for a minute like after i ordered press in and like ordered my lock extensions i was like dang i didn't spend this money is this what i really want to do and i feel like the few weeks that i've been waiting for the locks to come i've been kind of feeling like oh my god i don't know if i'm ready for some reason today when i woke up i woke up really excited the sun was shining it is a beautiful winter day um and it's been really cold and rainy for the last few weeks and this is like the first day where it's been like really really nice and i was like yeah this must be a good sign and i just feel good today y'all i'm just really excited but i don't want to continue to ramble because i need to get over there and i also have to make a few stops so yeah y'all i'm about to put on my shoes get my belongings together and we'll be heading off to my cousin's house so she can go ahead and part me up the last time we'll be dealing with the loose hair but yeah i took those boho locks out um maybe almost two weeks ago and so yeah these last couple of weeks i really just been enjoying my loose hair because i knew that it would be locked up really soon so like i um straightened it last week um i've been doing some slick buns this this past weekend I was wearing a slick back in a bun because that's always been one of my favorite styles. So I'm like, let me enjoy my little slick back while I can. And yeah, that's it y'all. Let me get my stuff so we can get out this door. All right y'all, so I made it to my cousin's house. We got the little setup. She got a little chair now too. Oh, this line on my forehead. So here are the lock extensions. Um, like I said, I'm going smaller this time. So, yeah, I just brought these so she can kind of use it as a guy. Is that my phone ringing? <clears throat> yeah. But, y'all been here for a minute. I stopped to pick this up some Chipotle. Y'all make sure to feed y'all stylists. Especially if her name is Sydney. My stylists don't be feeding me like that. But you said your clients? Yeah, they don't be. Yeah, I said my stylist. Huh? My right. clients don't be. Like, <laughs> my, my, my clients don't be feeding me like that. I did not know you was coming up. I was going to hop over a <laughs> I know. When you said, oh yeah, I was coming to you. 
I said, thank you. You Because I was like, I know we never discussed it. At first, I was going to come pick you up. But then I'm like, if I go pick her up, I might as well just stay over there and have her braided. Because it don't make no sense for me going to pick you up. I know. Then driving back home. Then you take do have nicer amenities at your house, though. So, like I was telling you, like, this little part of my hair is really fine back here. Uh, I see. And so, we might have to do that bottom row a little. Large. Yeah. Because I know last time I ended up having to combine that bottom row. I'm doing, um, bliss. You don't have to use no products really. Okay, clean. No, I'm not trying to be, because I'm, I'm going to have to basically, like, instant wipe my hair. Yeah. And I don't want to have it hella. I didn't even put that much product in it after I, um. I was going to tell you to bring, like, whatever you wanted me to put into it. Yeah, I already did it. Sorry, I don't mean to be like this. But like you are just like that. I don't know. I know. Your, I'm just think. It's just your personality. It's, okay. it's not even that it be my personality. This is just very, this part of my head. Cause you gotta think like when it's scrounge up, is it gonna be too much weight on that little piece? Mhm. Mm I don't think so. Okay. Wait for these back here. Mhm. Mm Should I braid it first and then two strands twist it? Um. You can do a little braided into the shirt. Cause of, because of how big it is? It's not going to unravel. But I'm, cause I'm going to have to go in and tease them and stuff. Yeah. So you don't have to braid them too tight either. But, you know, just maybe like, maybe one, two, and then two. Lying on your dead mom. Please. <laughs> <laughs> and I wear these. I put the inshows in the shit and everything. Them not, them not comfortable shoes. I'm let you know that I could just look at them and tell you why them not. No shoes that I ever get are comfortable. Cause you don't know how to pick your heels. Let me show you. A thicker. So first of all, think about how your foot operates, right? Yeah, look at them. It's flat. It's not even goes, that. And you my don't. Heels kind of go straight. Yeah. But we already established that my feet go outward like this. Let me tell y'all why it's not a good heel to be in all night. <laughs> Out of six flights of stairs, it ain't. You don't have any support, so you're really you're flat. So think of a flip flop, right? Any slide that just has a straight band right across the top of your toes, the back of your foot is gonna naturally flop because it doesn't have any support. So you have that on top of it being a heel, so you don't have any ankle support because all the support, all the coverage is right here. So this well, gonna, this, this, gonna, has some... this gonna slide. And then it's a flat, I mean the heel's not that high, but the bottom is flat. You need something, a platform to level your foot out. But I thought little. mules was a little... Girl, not these ones. I don't, I don't never do mules for a long time. Cause this is not a be on my feet all night here. This is a cute, we about to go grab drinks and sit down here. <laughs> Look, I was, I, I was moving around good. Julia could, but Julia was drunk. She kept on saying, you was walking like a bad bitch. <laughs> Why are you mad at the shoe? I just thought about that. I kept asking her like, y'all look crazy. She was like, no, you look like a bad bitch. <laughs> Let me show you what I was back in my my. I don't want to see that. My young days when I, just I was thought I was in gonna Vegas. wear six inch heels like you, but <laughs> mine's was six inch heels. But this, see, I grew up in the platform hill era. Me and Nikki had a good trip that year. See, this is us, and I was out walking a strip. These pictures kind of went triple platinum. This is how I know it was like a stand. I was a Charmeau <laughs> stand at like 11. I was like, God damn, she don't miss. <laughs> when I was just a young tenderoni walking around Vegas all night. Now when I go to Vegas. And then like they still couldn't tell me nothing about you. Like I just thought she was like a, an innocent young girl out <laughs> for, for town. I was. We went to the strip club that night though. Yeah, we were supposed to go see male strippers. Oh, you see the difference in the heel? This one we this one we was learning. That's it hurt. Yeah, that's not a heel to be in. And we night. walked hella far, but I was doing good. We was literally time. walking the strip in heels. That's how child. But yep. I feel like when we went to Vegas. Yo, young twenties. I had on some shoes. I don't know. It's a different time. I'll be trying to get there. I'm trying to be a material girl. Here I'm just drinking some rock. I don't know nothing about no vodka. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the rock was it. That's crazy. I really grew up. See, you gotta stop combing that little wide too comb through my hair like that. 
I mean, that little small tooth comb. Because <laughs> you just combing through, like. What? You feel like the sizing is cool? Yeah, I do like the sizing. Because I don't want micros. I just wanted it. They're not micro, though. I know. Not, like, you know. I think this is a good size. I like this. I think this is going to be cute. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. okay. I did a good job? You did. Okay. And then once we get them installed and retwisted and stuff. I could just leave them in like this too and just start my... I thought about doing this. This size is cute. Now that I look at you after you just worked it up, right? Yeah, I think it's going to be a really cute size. All right, y'all. So I'm back home and I love the way that my base came out. I'm super excited. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've been ready to do this, but that doesn't mean that I haven't been hesitant. But literally, as soon as she finished, when I came home and I looked in the mirror and seen my foundation, y'all, I am in love. I think that this is going to be a beautiful set. I think the sizing is perfect. I'm not gonna lie, with it just looking like this, it's kind of making me like, oh, do I want to just do it the traditional way and just allow my hair to naturally lock on its own? Because I think that this is really pretty too. I spray my, end up spraying my hair a little bit with water. Um, so my ends are kind of fluffing out. So this is like phase one of my hair transformation. I still need to wash my lock extensions, so I'll probably get up tomorrow and do that. Um, I think I might wear my hair like this for a couple of days <laughs> and then sometime later this week I'll probably actually start the installation process of the lock extensions y'all but what y'all think I love this sizing like it's not too small but it's not too big and I feel like if my first set looked like this I might still have them locks in my hair right now it's later in the evening I'm um, a little tired, so I'm probably about to eat some dinner and relax, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, y'all. Just checking back in because y'all it's Friday, and I ain't vlogged since Monday. Um, yeah, honestly, all week I've been working on my hair. I prepped the lock extensions Tuesday, let them air dry overnight, and then I finally start installing on Wednesday. And yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, today is Friday. The last few days, I've just been installing them. I'm super excited. Um, I'm still not done. I literally just finished installing the um, the lock extensions, y'all. But I had to take a break. That's honestly why it's taking so long. Because it is just like, it's very hard on the hands, the install price process. Um, I was getting crooks in my neck, holding my neck crocheting with the needle it was a lot so yeah i worked on it a few days here worked on it a few days there and i just finished the last little section in the front um but yeah i'm getting ready to shampoo it again and then i'm gonna actually retwist it and then we'll officially be done i'm so excited I love them already. I can't wait to see the final product. They honestly, I don't want to talk about it too much. Because again, I'm going to have separate videos for it. But yeah, I can't wait to share my thoughts on this second lock journey. Um, because I definitely think, obviously, it's going to be different. But um, yeah, it's definitely going to be different from my first lock journey. So I am super excited to see the full outcome. <clears throat> the weekend is still up in the air like i said it's friday as of right now i don't have too many plans tonight i'm probably not doing anything because the way i'm feeling and how i'm tired i don't really want to do anything but sit on my couch and watch tv so for sure probably going to be in the house tonight but then tomorrow i have some errands to run and then i think me and my babe are going to go on a little lunch date most likely probably just go to one of our regular spots that we like to go eat at nothing too crazy um, I think it's been storming these last couple of days and I think it's supposed to continue to rain throughout like the rest of next week. So plans are kind of up in the air for this weekend, but let me get up so I can finish my hair and yeah, I'll probably see you guys later. Maybe tomorrow. I may come back on camera and show you guys my hair tonight. I don't know, but I'll see you guys later. My bad y'all. I told y'all I was going to come back and show you guys my hair after i finished retwisting and it may or may not have been a week since then 
my bad but if you're caught up on my videos then it really doesn't matter because i have already posted the videos about my hair so you guys have already seen like the finished the finished look so it's really not a secret anymore but yeah y'all i say i like to say i have not picked up my vlog camera since <sighs> what was that last friday when i was getting ready to retwist my hair but yeah y'all for the last week i have just been like filming doing the last like clips and stuff for my hair um editing and then posting on all of my platforms so yeah i haven't been doing much i really just been on my computer if i'm not behind the camera talking filming for my hair then i'm at the computer um editing and posting and stuff like that but yeah now that all of that is taken care of i can definitely get back to vlogging this saturday i'm actually getting dressed well, I'm actually getting ready to go to um, a Galentine's Day event. My cousin invited me to an event she's having or she's um, working, I think, with a group of women to host this Galentine's Day event. So I'm super excited. I'm excited to be getting out of the house today because it's been a little slow these last couple months. Um, yeah, not a lot going on on in my life and i think it's just because it's winter and this is not even what i want to use when i start talking too much i'll be doing the wrong stuff okay but yeah since it's been winter i've just been really like i said i think in the last video hibernating so yeah i'm happy to be getting out the house today so yeah i wanted to do kind of just like a little chit chat get ready with me at first i was gonna make it like a standalone video but then i realized that i haven't been vlogging much this week so i'm like i'ma just put it in my vlog but yeah i kind of wanted to talk about moving back to the locks i kind of want to talk about my experience this first week being back to locks and answering a few questions i've seen so far first and foremost how do i feel um i'm really excited i'm really happy with my decision um like I mentioned several times, combing out my first set was definitely just an itch that I needed to scratch. And y'all already know how I am when it comes to hair, when it comes to beauty, when it comes to just being who you are. I feel like a lot of people are afraid to experiment or just change things because of all of these like unspoken rules and feeling like really confined just because you do one thing, you feel confined to just always have to be that one thing. And I feel like in general, I've always been like a really multifaceted person. Like I've always done a lot. <laughs> I do a lot. And so... For a lot of people, it can look like, oh, she just doing stuff, or she just always doing this, or she didn't know how to commit. She don't know if she want locks. She don't know if she don't want locks. Like, I get how it could come off like that, but I think it's part of me just being a multifaceted person, and if I see something and I want to do it, I'm going to do it. Especially, like, I like to push the boundaries. I like to push my level of skills and everything I do, especially when it comes to my hair, as someone who's always been interested in hair, I just feel like it builds my skills. And so, like, a, maybe a week or two ago, like, literally right before I relocked my hair, someone commented on my combing out my locks video. And one of the things... I don't even have my phone with me. One of the things she said in the comment is like, um, one thing that I love about you or one thing that you have taught us with your channel is like, you don't have to be afraid of your hair. It was something along that lines. Actually, I'm gonna get my phone and find the comment right now. Let's see if I can find it. I wish, did I screenshot it? Y'all, I've been trying to look for it, but I can't find it and I don't really have the time to really sift through it. But yeah, she says something along the lines of like, I love how you're just not afraid or you teach people, like regardless, even though you change your hair a lot, regardless of what you do, you teach people not to be afraid. And I feel like that has always been like one of my main goals when it comes to my content, when it comes to anything that I do, anything that I put out, like I said, so many times we will place ourselves in a box and we be afraid to take ourselves out the box that we even put ourselves in. And so if you don't take nothing away from my videos, not just my log videos, but any of my videos, like I feel like I want my message to be, to not be afraid of you. So many people are walking around afraid of themselves, afraid to be themselves fully. 
and that's something that I can relate to because I feel like again as a multifaceted person like coming up or like in my 20s like once people or once you take on one thing sometimes you're afraid to branch out and try something else because people you feel like people will only see you for that one thing one of my goals as I've been getting older one of my prayers is that I am fully using every gift that God placed inside of me like I want to live fully and I want to completely be everything that God designed me to be and if he gave me all of these gifts right if he gave me all of these ideas it makes no sense to just hoard them for myself or not act them out or not put them out so yeah y'all I combed down my locks because I wanted to. Uh, I was curious and I wanted to see if I could do it. I wanted to see how it would be done. How it would be done. I wanted to see how my hair looked. I wanted to experiment with some loose styles, and I did that. And then once I was done getting that scratching that itch, now I am back to my locks, and it's been a week so far. And honestly, it hasn't been like a crazy transition. I feel like because I was locked for so long, literally as soon as I finished installing them and once i got like to the retwisting part like everything was just kind of second nature like everything did i press record yeah <laughs> everything kind of just fell into place it just felt regular i guess you could say so yeah y'all my first week has been good where is that brush i washed all of my makeup brushes oh here we go yesterday couldn't find the one i wanted to use so yeah so far I've, it's, it's just been really second nature it doesn't it just felt like I kind of picked up where I left off I feel like I didn't really miss a beat and I'm just falling back in place where I was before other people's reactions so like most things I won't say most things but a lot of things that I've learned over the course of the year is, is just like keep it to yourself until you actually do it I have been thinking about locking my hair relocking my hair I didn't tell anybody like I was having those feelings but I never verbalized them just because at that point I still didn't know if I was going to go through with it but when I finally decided to make my decision to do it I didn't tell a lot of people I kind of one hand how many people that I told and I was like I'm gonna just pop out again one day with locks and that's what I did <laughs> but yeah as far as other people's reaction my man he was excited he was like one of the first people I told I was gonna relock my hair he was excited he loves my locks um he loves me with locks so he was excited that I was returning to my locks. I told a couple of my cousins and they didn't really believe me at first. <laughs> like I told them like, I think I'm about to relock my hair again. And they didn't believe me until I sent them a screenshot when I had actually went through and purchased my lock extension. So like four people probably that I was about to relock my hair. And so then I just popped out with locks again. My mom, she was like, oh, your hair looks cute, but I don't think she really processed <laughs> that I had like really relocked my hair. And that's what I think like a lot of people, they're so used to me with locks too. I feel like some people kind of did like a double take because they were just a little confused. But I feel like a lot of people don't, didn't really notice because it's not like it's a completely new style for me. And I feel like a lot of people in general have just come to like normalize me with locks. So yeah, I feel like it took some people like a minute to kind of like really process what I did because yeah, I just popped out with locks again one day. But for the most part, it's been, it's been regular. Like I feel like that's the only thing I can say is that it's just been regular. And then, as far as you guys, <laughs> I've gotten a lot of great feedback back from you guys a lot of people happy that I'm back a lot of people saying like oh I'm glad you're back because I need some new styles that's a lot of pressure like it feels good like oh my god like people was really waiting on me not waiting on me but it's like y'all really value like my hair videos like that so I think that aspect it made me really feel good like okay maybe this was a good decision not that I was trying to abandon y'all or anything but yeah it just it feels nice to be valued is what I'll say and then another thing I keep seeing, especially on like Instagram. So I combed out my locks last summer, but I feel like a lot of people probably didn't find out until after the fact. So yeah, I combed my locks out in August of 2023. It is now February of 2024. So it's been some time, like yeah, it hasn't been the longest of time. What about these, the wrong powder? But it has been some time, but I guess, 
I didn't realize a lot of people they found out late. So a lot of people are kind of like, wait, didn't you just comb them out a couple of months ago? And it's like, yeah, but not really. Like it's been a couple months, but it's been more than just like a couple months. <laughs> a lot of people think that I just combed them out and then just redid them right away. But no, it's actually been some time since I combed them out. I didn't jump right back into it. A lot of people said y'all knew I was going to redo it again, which I knew y'all was going to say that. Which is crazy though, because when I combed out my locks, a lot of people said that I knew you was going to comb them out. I knew this was coming. So what did y'all know? But one of the main things that I've noticed since I relocked my hair is that my engagement has been up on all of my platforms. And so I knew beforehand that like locks in general is one of like the main sources of my engagement. A lot of people subscribe to my channel because I have locks. Even though I've technically been like doing content for 10 plus years, I've been doing beauty content for 10 plus years. I've always done things. I did build a good bulk of my audience before I had locks, but I also know like in these last few years, my main audience has been from like people with locks and people were coming to watch me for locks. So I already knew that when I relocked my hair, I would probably get like an influx of engagement, but I've just been noticing my engagement has been up on all of my videos, not just my lock videos. Yeah, my lock videos for sure, but just all of my videos across all platforms, which is a good thing, right? I'm happy about it. That's always, when your engagement is up as a creator, that's always a good thing, but it's also kind of frustrating. And not frustrated with y'all, I think it's more so like the algorithms. Like whenever you're building a platform, people will always recommend that you niche down. And I do agree that if you are trying to build a brand, if you're trying to build a platform, niching down will definitely help you grow your platform. But sometimes I feel like when you niche down too, too much, um, it's not always that sustainable. I feel like you get burnt out easier and i also feel like these algorithms will kind of lock you into that niche and i say that because even though i combed out my locks i've still been putting out content since then for these last six months it did slow down a little bit but for the most part i was still putting out videos regularly it's like if you post anything outside of what they locked you into they do not push your videos and that can be super frustrating like it's one thing if like your original audience is not interested in something right because i do understand that again a lot of people follow me for locks so then when i don't have locks anymore you may not be as interested in other content i understand that and that's fine but i hate like how the algorithms do it because it's like just because this person may not be interested in a certain type of content doesn't mean that there isn't an audience out there who may be interested in some of the newer videos or the new content that I'm putting out and I do feel like that is one thing that's really frustrating and me relocking my hair just kind of confirmed that because like I said I've been seeing engagement up on all of my platforms for all of my videos all my styles of videos not just my log videos for the most part i was still posting regularly and it was a lot of people who had who haven't been seeing my videos because the algorithms don't wasn't pushing it um i think that's another reason why people just kind of feel like i just combed my locks out a couple months ago is because the algorithms haven't been pushing my other videos so I'm not gonna lie, that did kind of annoy me. That was kind of frustrating because even though I'm back to locks, I still want to focus on some of the other content that I've been working on these last few months. Like, I still wanna put out other things because like I said, when you niche down, it's just really easy to get burnt out. And so I'm definitely just trying to pace myself because I don't wanna like lock my hair and then just jump head first into just locks, locks, locks and then burn myself out really quick or really easily so yeah <sighs> we'll see but those are just some of the things that i have kind of noticed within this first week of being back to my locks i can't wait to really start styling them i'm trying to hold off on styling them too much just because they're still new and i don't want to like disrupt the process because even though they're lock extensions my natural hair still has to like really lock and i don't want to loosen the lock extensions too soon before they're like really 
conjoined in like obviously they're in but yeah i don't want to do any unnecessary pulling or tugging on them before they really settle but definitely can't wait to get back to some styles styling my locks were by far like the thing that i enjoyed most or i enjoy most about having locks which is why i got lock extensions too because i just wanted to get back into styling um <laughs> i'm not gonna even hold y'all but yeah that's just like my little one month not one month my one week update um so far I feel like a few of you have asked for like an updated makeup routine back in the day i used to do a lot of like when beauty and makeup was really really booming i used to do more like makeup tutorials but y'all my makeup really does stay the same like i'll switch it up a little bit here and there but for the most part once i find a product i like once i find something that works for me once i find a makeup look that i like i'm sticking to it like if it ain't broke don't break it so yeah a lot of my stuff stays a lot of my makeup routine stays really consistent but i do need to kind of purge what i have now and kind of like replenish my makeup collection i plan on doing that soon and i feel like once i kind of replenish everything probably do an updated makeup routine but i'm more of like a base girl as long as my base look good i could really care less about these eyes like i'm gonna put a little something on my eyes but my eyes have been like really neutral i have been kind of getting back into eyeshadow looks a little bit still just like very subtle looks but here lately i do find myself adding a little color to my lid here and there adding a little glitter here and there but even when i do that i still try to keep it like neutral yeah i gotta figure out what i'm gonna wear i texted my cousin this morning and i was like you know is it a dress code or is it a theme or anything and she said no just come cute just come as yourself and i was like okay i can do that originally like all week i was planning out my outfit so i didn't plan it out fully but i have this like long pink like fluffy teddy type of jacket and so i was going to build a outfit around that coat but it ended up being a really nice day the sun is shining i checked the weather for where the event is going to be at and it's supposed to be 62 degrees which is not like hot hot but it is warm for like a winter day so yeah the weather is beautiful today so i'm like um i don't think i want to put on that coat so i've been in my closet all morning just pulling out everything pink that i can find because i don't know i just feel like i really want to wear pink she didn't say we had to wear pink or red but you know it's galentine's and i do feel like pink is more of a galentine's day color for like your friends your girls and i feel like red is more like romantic so i don't want to wear red i want to wear pink so i got a bunch of pink stuff laid out but while i was searching i found this skirt that i bought like um maybe around october and it's like what's that material it's not what's it called? it's kind of embroidered I don't know if this would really be considered embroidered, but it's kind of like that kind of material. Um, and it's green, but it has like these pink flowers on it. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll do this with a little blouse and like some boots. So I think I'm going, I'm gonna probably go somewhere with that. Thinking about shoes though, cause I want to be comfortable. I have these pair of like tall black boots but i've never worn them because every time i put them on or i try them on it'd be too much of a struggle trying to get them up these calves so we're gonna try it out today see how it works see if i can get them over my calves today if i can't then i'm gonna put on my other little booties and call it a day but makeup is looking good so far i'm doing good on time since i have my outfits kind of laid out i should be okay um the event starts at two but it's like an hour away and I also have to go pick up my mom because she wanted to come so I'm trying to leave my house because I don't know like the format of the event so I don't want to be like late so I don't know if it's going to be speakers or or what so I want to make sure that I'm on time I purchased a new setting spray yesterday this is the Morphe mattifying spray Let's see how it works 
My favorite setting spray for the last few years has been like the Ben Nye Final Seal. And you guys can see how much I have left. But yeah, I needed something for this weekend because I knew that I was going to have some long days this weekend. The closest Ulta to me... Last time I went in there, I went in there one time and it was a mess. It was dirty. Everything was picked over. They didn't have a lot of stuff in there, a lot of inventory. So I was like, yeah, I won't be coming back here. Sephora is out the way too. And I'm like, I just need something that I can get real quick from a brand that I kind of trust. And so um, I haven't used any drugstore like setting sprays in a long time, but I went to Target. And I didn't go to my usual Target. I went to one that is a little, it's not that much further, but it's just in the opposite direction. Um, but that Target has a Ulta in there. And their Ulta selection wasn't like the best, but they did have some stuff in there. They had some cool stuff in there. One of which was that Morphe spray. And a couple of years ago, I used to use the um, Continuation spray, spray from Morphe which was cool so i was going to just get that one but then when i seen they had this mattifying spray i was like let me try that because i love a good matte face it's gonna be my first time trying to spray we'll see how it works i am probably gonna hit my face with a little bit of this too i think i'm gonna pop on some corner lashes and then we're gonna be done what time is it oh it's 11:41. my goal was to be done with my makeup by 11:45, so that i can have 30 minutes to get dressed and then i can leave okay y'all let me um pop on these lashes real quick and i'll be back so y'all, the first outfit was a complete fail. It's my fault. I should have tried that skirt on before I just committed to that outfit because once I tried it on, I could fit it, but the material, it just didn't have any stretch. Um, I just knew that that skirt was not going to work today. And I'm like, I'm not gonna even stress myself out trying to make this skirt work. So immediately scrapped it. And that was annoying because I was also filming to get ready with me for TikTok. So I had my camera and my tripod, everything was set up. Y'all, outfit was a fail. And then I had laid out a bunch of pink stuff. So I had this pink, like kind of flowy satin dress. I was like, oh, this will be pretty. But then I needed to iron it. And I had just finished ironing because I had ironed a shirt that I was going to wear with that skirt. And I looked at the time. It was after 12. And I'm like, yeah, this ain't going to work. So y'all, I just went in my closet, pulled out this like little black two-piece set. I've worn it before, actually. And then I just added my little pink beret to add some color to it because, yeah, I don't have time to be pulling with my wardrobe right now so this is what we ended up with it's given like valentine's day meets black panther um and it's gonna be what it's gonna be face is eating though ponytail is cute so that's all that matters um, getting ready to grab me a couple snacks for the road and i am get some water um yeah got my little shoes on my heels by the door do y'all drive in y'all heels one thing i do not do is driving heels i hate driving in heels got my camera got my phone get my keys we're out the door i'm actually about to take this jacket off because i'm but okay y'all we about to go Yeah. 
Yes, please. 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 Yes,
hey, you hurt me. And you not look, the thing is that with my journey with God, God ain't never, he hasn't said, oh yeah, they gonna apologize to you. Yeah. They gonna treat yeah. you right once they apologize. That's not true. My thing is forgiveness with me and my growth is that once I forgive, God will give me peace about it. So if you come back in my face and you slap me again, I have to still love you and give you peace. But what I have learned is that it is okay to say boundaries. It's okay to say, you know what? I can love you and I forgive you, but I can love you from a distance. I can love you and I can forgive you from, from over here. But that don't mean that when I see you, I'm the up punch. No, I still say, hey, how you doing? How you feeling? Because at the end of the day, that's still your brother or your sister, whether we want to like it or not. But it's expressing to one another as a woman how you feel. Instead, when they say, when she calls and she say, how you feeling, sis? At first, I'd be like, I don't want to talk to you in the <laughs> Then I'd be like, you know what? I, I, I'm over it. Like, I just go into a dump. And for me, I was like, all right, my pride was so high, like, so high to where sometimes God sends you people and put people in your life to help you grow. And you just ignore them and ignore them. And I kept saying to myself, God, why do you keep putting these same people in my path? They get on my nerves. They irritate me. They always got something to say. I always want to preach to me about something. Why are they always here? But it's like, if I would have never took that step, I wouldn't be standing next to her today. And even on this, this way, it might look beautiful in here. It might do all of this. But let me tell you, me and her, we have to literally go through clashes of building this. But it was clashes of, all right, sis, I need to tell you how I feel today. All right, it means I need to tell you how I feel. And my thing is that we have to stop responding. Whether it's your, your boyfriend, your husband, your sister, whoever it is, listen. When they say something to you, they can be yelling and screaming as hard as your mouth or your hands. Be one to go. Can't use them. It's time to stop, listen to what the response, listen to what they saying, and then respond. Be slow to speak. Because sometimes you just go into this rage. She would have never heard nothing that I said to her this week. I would have never heard nothing that she said to me this week if we would have never been able to just sit, listen to each other talk, and then move on from there. This is, we not in a race with each other. Everybody is in the same boat the same journey, but it's literally just viewing yourself, like how she said with the, the, the activity. How you view yourself, that's how you project on other people. So if in your mind you all high and mighty, you feel like you look good, you smell good, and the next person ain't that, that's how you gonna get, you gonna get in that same energy without you even being consciously aware of it. Because that's just how you, that's how you think about yourself. It does not matter with any of that. The only thing that matters is your journey and your walk with God and making sure that you are trying your best. It is easier said than done, but just trying your best to love each other, love other people. I still got people on my list. I'm checking everybody off one by one. <laughs> but I'm like, Jesus, I done forget about the who don't. Next. Like, but the list, is, your list probably be long, but it's like, why walk around feeling angry and tired and drained and you got headed? Sometimes you get so mad at somebody, you can talk to yourself in the car. Or either you be at home preparing for that, that conversation that you about to have. You be like, wait till we get it. I'm about to say X, Y, Z. And then when you get in that space, it does not flow that way. It go a totally opposite way. And that's because sometimes God intervenes. Because it, it, it's, not, it's not that important. So our whole purpose and like our whole goal today is just to get that mindset out to women. Like, it is okay for you to be you. Whoever God created you to be, that is you. God created me to be loud, obnoxious, <laughs> funny, <laughs> angry at times. <laughs> like, even when I, and I, you know, at first I used to fight with the fact of like, why did God give me this mouth where I cannot lie to somebody? Like, if something is wrong or something, I can't lie to you. It'd be like, sis. You should put them shoes on. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to lie to 
to you as a person, like individually, God has created all of us separately for a reason, and that is to prepare to support each and every one of us. Okay? So that's my little.